viewers welcome to beyond borders today we will discuss the ongoing crisis in myanmar and its ripple effect on the neighboring region since the military coup in february 2021 myanmar has descended into chaos the united nations reports that over 2.8 million people have been displaced with conflict spreading across multiple states the humanitarian crisis deepens with civilians facing violence the ongoing myanmar conflict is more than a regional issue due to its complex geographical location to understand it well first let's delve into the geographical details of myanmar it is strategically positioned at the crossroads of south asia southeast asia and indian ocean its location provides access to key maritime routes and trade corridors making it a focal point for global powers the conflict disrupts regional peace and stability affecting neighboring countries escalating violence could strain diplomatic relations and create security challenges but why myanmar is facing chaos now let's understand the history a bit myanmar earlier known as burma became independent from the uk in 1948 but since then it has faced many problems like military rule civil war and poverty in 1988 people in myanmar protested for democracy but the military took control again and myanmar endured years of authoritarian rule censorship and human right abuses the military regime changed the country's official name from burma to myanmar in 1989 in 2011 A nominally civilian government led by President Thein Sein began a process of partial democratization. In 2015, Myanmar held its first relatively free and fair elections, leading to the victory of Aung San Suu Kyi's party, the National League for Democracy. Despite progress, Myanmar faced significant challenges. The Rohingya crisis escalated, leading to the allegations of ethnic cleansing and international condemnation. The military retained significant power, controlling key ministries and maintained a quarter of parliamentary seats. The economy struggled and poverty persisted. In February 2021, the military staged a coup, detaining Aung San Suu Kyi and other elected leaders. This shattered hopes for continued democratization. In the weeks following the coup, large number of people took to the streets for mass protest. The military responded with deadly violence and imposed a campaign of terror, raiding homes and arresting anyone suspected of supporting democracy. Since then, Myanmar has descended into chaos, affecting the lives of millions of people. So what is the impact of the conflict in the neighboring region? India, China, Bangladesh, Thailand and Laos share borders with Myanmar. Any spillover of violence could impact these countries directly. For instance, India faces security concerns along its northeastern border due to ethnic insurgencies in Myanmar. China has economic interests and infrastructure projects in Myanmar. Bangladesh deals with refugee flows especially from the persecuted rohingya minority thailand relies on myanmar for trade and energy links myanmar also possesses valuable natural resources including jade timber and minerals control over these resources influences regional dynamics and attracts international attention major powers like united states china and india weigh for influence in myanmar The country's alignment affects broader geopolitical balances. China's Belt and Road Initiative and India's active policy intersects in Myanmar. Trade routes, energy pipelines and investment opportunities link neighboring nations. Economic disruptions in Myanmar reverberate across borders. However, the international response to the conflict has been a patchwork of condemnation and inaction. A recent open meeting of the United Nations Security Council, the first since 2019, highlighted the spiraling human rights catastrophe. Yet global powers remain divided on intervention. The foreign ministers of ASEAN expressed a deep concern and urged all parties for an immediate cessation of violence in Myanmar. 
India has taken a cautious approach, balancing its strategic interest with humanitarian concerns. Unlike Western countries that imposed sanctions, India maintained diplomatic channels with Myanmar's military junta. Why? Because Myanmar is a crucial part of India's activist policy, a strategy to enhance connectivity and trade with Southeast Asia. Moreover, Myanmar's proximity to China raises concerns for New Delhi, challenging India's influence in the Indian Ocean. China is Myanmar's major trading partner, investing billions in infrastructure projects. The China Myanmar Economic Corridor under the Belt and Road Initiative is a game changer. But why should India care? China's deepening footprint in Myanmar poses a strategic challenge. They are building a listening post on Myanmar's Great Cocoa Island, just 55 km north of India's Andaman and Nicobar Islands. That's our backyard. India shares a long border with Myanmar, making it vulnerable. The instability threatens India's northeast, a region already tense due to ethnic and political issues. Cross-border smuggling, armed trafficking and illegal immigrations are real concerns. India's northeast act as a buffer zone between Myanmar and China. We can't afford instability. So India started to fence the entire 1643 kilometers of border with Myanmar, disrupting age-old connections and raising questions about the future of cross-border communities. Like the India Myanmar Thailand trilateral highway and the Kaladan multimodal transit transport projects are at risk. And our activist dreams hinge on the stability of Myanmar. To sum up, Myanmar's crisis affects not only its own country but also its neighbors and the whole region. This situation changes the balance of power in the Southeast Asia and the world. The way this crisis is handled will show how much the world values peace, stability and human rights. The latest update to the news is the Myanmar army has lost more ground than at any time in its history and the military government appears to be in a serious crisis that could signal its potential collapse. Stay tuned for more updates on international relations and geopolitics. Until next time, this is Jwala signing off.